Have you ever heard stories where someone is fixing up an old house and then all of a sudden they start having paranormal activity? It almost comes out of nowhere and it makes no sense. So people just chalk it off, oh, it's because I'm changing something about a house and whoever lived there didn't like it. Well, I'm here to tell you a few reasons as to why. Now, of course, this video isn't limited to just these reasons. Of course, there are more, but I'm here to explain the main reasons as to why this occurs. What up home slices, what up home fries, and what up homes of other varieties. Sorry I'm late on my video this week. Um, it's been a real busy time. I have a part-time job. I was sick after my, well, from my vacation into coming home. And so it's been crazy. But I'm finally pumping this out. And uh, hopefully it informs, enlightens, entertains, so on and so forth, so yes. But yeah, I'm going to provide some reasons as to why paranormal activity may occur when people do renovations, whether it is inside a home, a business, or any kind of location. So let's get started. All right, so I kind of split it between humans, like earthies, and then like non-human things or just negative things in general whether they are human or not human but more on the negative end of things and so so for earthies whether they intend harm or not this is more on like the neutral side but so if a person died in the location whether it's a house or a business somewhere they spent a lot of time you kind of have to think about like if they were alive and you did something to a space they frequented a lot especially if they lived there and uh it was not with their permission they might get upset whether that is for ocd reasons or they just don't like change because they're stuck in their ways you kind of have to go along those lines because what happens is when a person dies and they don't cross over, the personality or tendencies that they have tend to stick with them when they are no longer living. Whether that's OCD or stubborn tendencies that they just don't like change or maybe they had a hoarder's personality or they had hoarding behaviors. Well, a lot of times that's going to pass with them when they die. <laughs> now, of course, when you have mental illnesses, there are like exceptions to the rules because let's be real, and some people don't know this, so I'm pointing this out real quick. If the illness affects their cognitive ability, to where they cannot make proper decisions like examples for Alzheimer's or any kind of brain altering illnesses, diseases where it can erode or just affect cognitive abilities. This is where higher benevolent beings will assist that person into crossing over. Of course, there are rare occasions where they can't cross over because there are things holding them there like negative entities, though that is more on the rare side. But most of the time, you will have higher ascended beings help those types of people cross over. So I just wanna point that out because I know there are people worried about their loved ones that have illnesses like the such and they're afraid of their safety when crossing over but I did want to state that. But anyway, these are more for people that they can make cohesive decisions and proper decisions, but like kind of have more of that personality or behaviors towards certain actions and things. So yeah, hoarding, um, stubbornness, 
stuff like that, those kinds of people are more attracted to earthly things, the 3D, if you will. And so they can't let go of those things. So those are the kinds of people that will become earthies. And if they are those kinds of people, they're more likely to react in a negative way if you do renovations and change up their environment so that they're not happy. Then on the other hand, you have things that are more of a negative nature. So that could be non-human entities or just like negative earthbound spirits that are more on the descended level. So the reason why renovations could stir up issues, plain and simple. So when you're in an older house or a house that's been lived in with a good amount of residual energy, when you do renovations, you essentially are either repairing or taking out something and replacing it with something new. Well, if you're taking something out, the thing you're taking out has residual energy on it or just negative energy from the entity, etc. And you're taking that out and then you're replacing it with something that doesn't have that energy on it and it's pretty much like a clean slate that affects the biome or the environment's vibration or overall vibration. And if you think about it, it's like you're doing a cleansing of an item or if you're doing a lot of repairs or renovations, maybe, you know, it's more items. So that's taking out more things with negative energy tied to it. And again, it affects the overall vibration of that environment. Well, negative things thrive in areas with negative vibrations. So when you take some of that energy out and it's clean, um, it's almost like doing a home cleansing, except it's just doing it manually on one object at a time. And uh, that could piss them off. Or sometimes you do have um, entities that like certain things. So let's say you're fixing a broken mirror. Maybe they use that mirror to bounce back and forth between the location in different areas of the location. And now you took one of their ways to move around out. Not that they need it, but some just fancy it. Well, that's gonna piss them off too. Like if it affects their negative energy environment or the way they haunt a person or a family, if it affects any of those things, yes, you can piss it off. So those are just a few ways. Again, it's not limited to what is said in this video. I'm sure there are other ways, but those are the main ways. So guys, I know this was really short and kind of simple. But, you know, one day I was just thinking, I'm like, why is it that paranormal activity increases when people do renovations? And I knew it wasn't just because they liked things a certain way, <laughs> because they've been a certain way for a long time. I knew it had to do with more things than that. And so, yeah, I thought I would just uh, make this quick video for you guys. And another shout out here. Um... I did my first investigation this weekend. It is a surprise as to where, and I'm hoping to have it posted around Halloween time. So stay tuned for that. It was very interesting, not gonna lie. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this answers some of your questions. Peace out.